Good morning. This is a guided meditation that supports the Moonlight Meditation for Thursday, November 19th, 2020. Our focus for this meditation this coming week is on bhavana. And bhavana is a term that literally means development or cultivation, or in a sense, calling into existence. So coming to your mat with a specific intention is what we want to do over the course of this next week and ongoing. This is something if you have a strong goal or intention in mind for your future, then this is something that you want to be working on on a regular basis. So let's make sure that we are in a seated meditation posture. Root through the sits bones and feel your spine lengthen upwards. Tuck the chin in and drop it down slightly so the back of the neck is nice and long. Softly close the eyes, and if you can, stare at the tip of the nose, but keep your attention on the third eye. Feel the jaw relax. Notice any furrowing of the brow or other tension in the face. And see if you can just let it go. As the spine continues to lengthen upwards, let the shoulder blades melt down towards your hips. Now bring awareness to your breath. Notice any pattern. But try not to change it, just notice. Notice the length of the inhale compared to that of the exhale. Maybe this is the first time you've taken note of the breath in a while. Now notice how it corresponds to the state of your mind. Let's work a bit with Visamabriti Pranayama. We'll work to extend the breath with tension at the top of the inhale. Remember, this significantly improves your vital capacity. So we will start with a five count inhale and a 10 count exhale. Then we'll work into five count inhale with a three count breath retention and a 10 count exhale. From there, we'll work into the five count inhale again and we'll hold the breath for four counts and exhale for 10. And the next progression is to inhale for five counts, hold the breath for five counts, and exhale for 10. And lastly, we will inhale for five counts, hold the breath for six, and exhale for 10. And then we'll return to the breath retention of only three counts. But when we do this, we will inhale for six count and we'll exhale for 12. Don't worry if you can't work with this breath. Do what you can right now in this moment. If you find that you get dizzy or if this brings anxiety about, just go back to your natural breathing. So first let's exhale out all of the air from the lungs. And now inhale for five, four, three, Two, one, hold the breath for three, two, one, and exhale for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and inhale five, four, three, two, one, hold the breath for four, three, two, one, and exhale. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath for five, four, Three, two, one, and exhale for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold for six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale for 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now allow the breath to be natural. Let's take a few rounds. Again, if you got dizzy while you were working with that, it's not unusual. Kind of think of it in the sense of going to the gym for your lungs. So we take ourselves into a little bit of discomfort, just as we would if we were to go to the gym and do a hard workout. And this is how we increase the vital capacity. We increase the strength of our lungs. Now check the state of your mind. Has it changed? Has your energy changed? And just keep the awareness on the breath. Note thoughts that enter your mind. Remember when we meditate, we're not trying to force the thoughts out. We're not trying to keep thoughts from entering the mind. Instead, we're using them, we're anchoring them, allowing them to anchor us back to the breath. Stay with the breath. Remember that this is your time. You dedicated yourself for this practice today. You don't have to be anywhere or do anything for the next few moments. Just be here. And again, we're working with Bhavana this week. And this is, in essence, what the Law of Attraction is all about. We can feel into our future and envision it. We can begin to take the steps toward making it happen. When you set an intention, be sure that it is clear, specific, and positive. For example, setting an intention of wanting more wealth is not specific. An intention of, I want to earn 50% more than I currently earn is more specific. When you set that intention with some clarity, feel how it would feel to manifest that intention. How does your body feel? What pleasant sensations are you experiencing? Try to bring all of your senses into that future experience. When we work with positive intention and add an elevated emotion, we change our electromagnetic signature in the quantum field. Keep the awareness on the breath. And keep that strong intention in the mind. Again, just trying to feel into the emotion that experiencing and manifesting that intention brings about. Remember, the unknown can induce fear. Most of us cannot delve deep enough into the fear to see that it can be used as a tool to assist us on our journey to our intention or our goals. The longer we can rest in the unknown and lean into unfounded fears, the more we bring possibility into our life. And now we'll work with a few positive affirmations. 
And you can just hear these words. I will repeat them three times each. You can just listen to them and bring the words into your physical being. Or you can recite them either silently or out loud. So the first positive affirmation. I am in this consciousness to achieve this intention. Again, I am in this consciousness to achieve this intention. I am in this consciousness to achieve this intention. Just deep in those words for a breath or two. the next affirmation. Every time doubt enters my mind, I replace it with the positive emotion inherent in manifesting my intention. Every time doubt enters my mind, I replace it with the positive emotion inherent in manifesting my intention. Every time doubt enters my mind, I replace it with the positive emotion inherent in manifesting my intention. And just deep in those words, keeping awareness on the breath. And the last affirmation. I am empowered every day to repattern my thinking so as to create a new signature in the field. I am empowered every day to repattern my thinking so as to create a new signature in the field. I am empowered every day to repattern my thinking so as to create a new signature in the field. Again, keep awareness on the breath and just steep in those words. Now take a few more deep intentional breaths. And remain immersed in this elevated emotion. Let it carry you throughout your day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.